Today we're going to be talking about a video that went viral on Twitter and TikTok recently and it's basically a man who is 22 years old who quit his 100k per year job to try and ask Logan Paul for a job. Unfortunately he got rejected and perhaps rightfully so. Um, a lot of the feedback and reaction has been kind of critical like he kind of deserved it because his pitch was just can I get a job? I have no skills. I kind of suck at social media, but I want to work for you. Uh, and so it didn't go well. And I want to discuss from a career development side as someone who has done tons of videos on uh, interviewing, job hunting, career networking and pitching uh, where he went wrong and what he could have done better. Now, I think there's this one YouTuber who's like kind of a Call of Duty gamer who basically did his own reaction video to it and his name's Birdman and I think he had a lot of thoughts that I agree with. So first and foremost, um, and you can search the video up online, the whole thing was kind of creepy and you could tell Logan was kind of creeped from the beginning. Uh, he basically snuck onto stage past a few gatekeepers to meet Logan and Logan being as famous as he was was probably s scared for his life he definitely seemed pretty uh, threatened or, or kind of scared initially and he was he kind of asked the guy before anything else like hey like how'd you get here how'd you even get here um, now I do have to give Logan credit because despite that and despite the guy admitting eventually that yeah he snuck on to the stage Logan gave him the time of day he mentioned that he quit his job and he wanted to do business uh, and work business which I don't think is a good f way to phrase it because business just puts you in a bucket of everyone else pitching scams or pyramid schemes or uh, random get rich quick schemes that don't work out but Logan saw that this guy had a little bit of heart maybe and quit his job to, to see Logan so he gave him what seemed like a good five minutes of time where they really talked it out and he, he heard his story and the story was basically that he was from Ohio and he had he, he wanted he quit his job and he wanted to work for for Logan Logan actually gave him a little bit of a chance and uh, you know when you do meet in person you do have a little bit of opportunity that most people don't um, just to get access uh, but then he goes on to blow it he says when Logan asks you know what skills you have what, what do you got he says uh, not not much really I can do TikTok and Logan was like okay how many followers do you have on TikTok you do you have the skills and unfortunately he gives a poor answer which is no I kind of suck on TikTok so essentially he came here with no game plan which is not something you ever want to do preparation is key um, and the real screw up was a lack of empathy and value for the other person It's the first most common mistake people make when pitching they constantly just think selfish I want this dream job with Logan Paul I want to make money I want to have fun and uh, instead of thinking about the other person what does that person want how can I get that to them what type of value can I provide them and uh, you know obviously it goes down it went downhill from there uh, he started to kind of complain and try and paint a bit of a sob story about his life and uh, Logan was like, you know, I respect that you quit your job. I respect that you came from Ohio. And I respect that you're saying you have no friends. Logan was basically like, do you have any friends? Because we can work together as friends. Uh, or like, you can work with your friends to build something. And Logan, Logan was basically saying like, I started from scratch just like you. I had no one but my brother. And I built all of this off of that. Uh, and so he was asking, maybe you, if you have friends, you can start to build something. And this guy was like, I have no friends. Um, and coming from someone who really did have a tough time making friends, 
I could see that how that may be true. But, you know, I could also see why Logan was skeptical about it. Because Logan kept like saying, like, there's no way you don't have friends. You're a good looking guy. You can find friends. And I could see the truth to that, too. This guy had a he was like, I wouldn't say model, but he was fairly good looking. Caucasian brown hair like he was in the predominant race predominant category in America so I can see why Logan would say like you can probably make friends if you needed to so um, you know obviously it could be true he may just have struggles with being shy or being uh, unable to have the social skills of connecting and so that's something he would have to work on but I, I see his point too like even if you start from nothing you can make friends and you can start making videos with those friends and it might be able to start something anyhow uh, it doesn't end there he films a second video which I think he posts on TikTok and he's basically crying in his car and this video got a lot of uh, negative feedback and reaction as well because although he tries to paint this sob story he starts it off by saying how he made a hundred thousand dollars a year at his job at 22 and he quit the job to work for Logan Paul and uh, you know there's obvious reactions to that that were kind of you know understandable people were like you didn't have to quit your job you could have kept your job and still conducted this whole plan and if it didn't work out it would have been a backup sure there may have been some reasoning behind it in the sense that maybe you wanted to burn your ships or bridges to really commit to this but you didn't have to do that it wasn't a financially sound way of doing that um, and you know the fact that you're making already a hundred thousand dollars at 22 doesn't paint a sob story that paints like you're already doing pretty decent somehow uh, which is also to a lot of people's points confusing because a lot of people are like you make that much already at your age and you're unable to have good interviewing and pitching skills now I'm not uh, trashing this person I'm using this as constructive feedback for him and others uh, when you do these things you want to be sound with your backup plans and you have to come in with a practical plan with empathy and value I would have come in and, and really shown that value in a risk-free way. So I would have said, hey, I'm good at social media marketing, I've done this, I've delivered this results, and I would do that work for free for a limited time just to show you what I can do. And that really limits the costs for them. Logan obviously uh, made the natural reaction, which was to reject when you just come in and say, I got nothing to offer. Um, now this guy started crying and it almost seemed like he expected this all to work out. He expected that best case situation to always work out and that's not how it happens in real life. That best case situation is like a 1% chance type of thing. And uh, another thing was just how he expected things and how he was still in that selfish mindset. He was talking in, in his uh, video in his car about how just before he approached Logan, Logan was bragging about how he made $3 million that year. Was he really bragging? I don't know. Maybe he said it in a video that he saw, or maybe he was actually bragging on stage. Who knows? But uh, his eyes were still selfishly on how he could make more money, even though he was making 100 k and how he, his dreams didn't work out, his expectations didn't work out, and how, you know, it is his sob story about, you know, how Logan rejected him and it was just a mess well what do you expect you know you're, you're being selfish and when you walk through life and you paint this picture about what I want it doesn't usually always fit perfectly what with what others want and by just asking for what you want you're not always going to get it. Jim Rohn a great personal development speaker he says you can get anything you want in life if you help other people get what they want in life and so you know if I were to just go around and say hey I want to be a multi-million dollar actor and I want to work two hours a week and make millions doing whatever I want traveling the world I'm not gonna get that just by asking people for it. why would they just give me money when I don't have the skills the ability 
when I'm not even willing to put in the work, given all the competition and the actors hustling, working 80 hours a week, why would someone be like, oh yeah, you have no skills or talent or experience, I'm gonna pay you millions of dollars to travel the world and work two hours a week acting. It just doesn't make sense. While, it, you know, obviously it wouldn't work out, you'd be surprised how many people continuously make this mistake. When people pitch me, uh, and I have a much smaller presence than Logan Paul, when people pitch me or try and ask me to do stuff with my small YouTube audience, or when successful people like Gary Vaynerchuk get pitched. You know, I remember several years ago, and this was before Gary was even big, big. Uh, he was big, but not big, big. And Gary Vaynerchuk, he had, I think, a couple hundred thousand followers at the time on Instagram. I attended a book signing event where he gave a speech. And guess what? Everyone just asked him for stuff. Like, hey, can you invest in my app? Hey, can you do this? Can you do why? And he already had canned responses for these people because he's like, he's seen it a million times. Why would I do that for you? Um, and a lot of these people, they just didn't think it through. These were college students who just thought about it from their selfish mind. I want you to give me money. I want you to mentor me. And Gary had these canned responses because he got pitched all the time. He's like, why would I do that? Well, he didn't say it like that. He was just like, unless your app has 300,000 active users, I'm not gonna do it. Or another one of his responses was like, I can give you money, but I can't give you a second of my time. Um, and so even then I was flabbergasted because even though this was like several years ago in 2014, 2015, I already knew at that point, just given all the personal development and pitching and studying of career advice, that was not an effective approach. And yet people continuously did it. So common sense is not common practice. If I would have gone, you know, pitched Logan Paul, and you know, one thing I do respect about this guy is that he pursued his dreams. And that's something Logan nodded to as well. He's like, I respect you for quitting your job and pursuing your dreams, but you gotta do it effectively responsibly and intelligently you know as I said I would have pitched in a way uh, that is, I guess it's called the Charlie Hone model Charlie Hone was able to work with a lot of stars Ramit Sethi Tim Ferriss and uh, Seth Godin and check out his blog and his book for more secrets to his pitching style but um, I was able to work with Ramit Sethi and Neil Patel in a similar way where I came in with just free value and showed my expertise, experience, and skill, and the value I would provide them. And then, if need be, I'd throw in free work or a trial period, or I would just give them all that value for free up front, with no expectations of them uh, you know, paying for it or anything. And because of that, and, and I wrote a whole article on this, by the way, on my blog, if you want more detail. Also check out Charlie Hone's stuff. They said yes, surprisingly. Um, so by coming in with a plan, with certain skills that you hone, and you may be like, well, I don't have skills. And I'm working on that too. I don't have a lot of skills that you think I have. I started from scratch, and I'm still starting from scratch from a lot of levels. My Photoshop thumbnail skills, my video editing skills, I'm taking classes on that now because you know, I'm starting from scratch from a lot of those things. Um, and I'm really initially starting to build my ability uh, and finally invest in those things. So if you don't have those skills, learn them, grow on them. If you don't find you're not passionate about it, then that's maybe not the skill for you, move on to something else. It's not easy, you know, it's, it's not easy and I'm not saying I have all the answers either, but I think there's certain things that were something he can hopefully learn from. He had certain mindsets that I think really caused his failure and if he learns from them with a growth mindset, Maybe you can get somewhere, but certain things were missing. I mean, crying, uh, he, he was crying and complaining for a while in his video about how he wants to be an actor, how he wants to be a st big star, how he wants to make multi-millions. And you can have big aspirations, but you can't, you know, just start crying and have this defeatist attitude, the first sign of trouble, or when your first attempt fails. I mean, that's not the spirit of a winner. A winner makes multiple mistakes 
and he expects them he learns from them and he grows so uh, this guy is still super young 22 is, is still baby age really in the, in the grand scheme of career development so hopefully he learned something hopefully you learned something and I will see you later